here CG Thinker. Welcome! Today we are going to grow our library with an addition of shader for LED or other light indicator. Let's go! First part, the shader for spherical shapes. Obviously, all start with an emission node. After, the trick is to make a variation of this shader, but only for the camera visible rays. So, we had a mix shader and light path node. Connect the camera ray output to mix shader and see what's happening. The emission shader continues to light up the scene, but the source is hidden for the camera. No, we are going to work with the second and actually empty mix shader input. Duplicate the emission node and link to mix shader. When we see an indicator like a LED, the surface color isn't homogeneous. So, add a mix RGB node, connect the LED color to the second input and switch the first to black. For fake input, find the layer weight node and use the facing output. Add an invert node between weight and mix and, and you see, it's began to be good. For more gradient control, we can use a RGB curve node just before the mix RGB. For the curve, no rules, adjust based on your scene and your preferences. And the last piece of the puzzle, reflections. Light indicators are made in plastic or glass, so it reflects environment. So add a glossy shader. Use the Fresnel output of layer weight to drive the mix shader. Again, for more customization, I use another RGB curve to adjust more or less reflections. That's all for the spherical shapes shader. No, you can press pause to copy the graph before to continue to the second and last part. Step 2. Adapt the shader for all shapes. We jump in other scene and here we are going to work with a prism shape. For the shader, I start with the same. Yes, that's why we make a library, it's to save time. In this case, we will change the gradient source. I remove the invert node, but not the layer weight that I use for its final output. Now I add three nodes. First, texture coordinate. Second, mapping node. Third, gradient texture. And I set gradient to quadratic sphere. No. See what's happening if I play with the mapping scale. You understand? So, connect the gradient to the previous shader and it works! Yes, <laughs> it works. Before to finish this tutorial, I propose to see how, customize, how to customize the shader with one focus on glossy part. Big light indicator can be made in plastic with non-flat surface. You can reach a good result with a magic texture. Adjust the scale and use FAC output with a bump node. Link the bump node to normal glossy socket. And yes, this is a way had details and details are important. No, we have two plug and play shaders. I suppose the first is more frequent. For the rest, you just have to customize for your scene, like I did here. For example, don't forget, the objective is to grow your library. So save it on place where you can to fit it easily. We will use it again. The next time, I will show to you a useful knot group that I almost use today because I use it every day. But for clarity, this group will be a next video subject for Grow Your Library series. Like, share and subscribe to help me to grow this channel and not just your library. See you next time and do not forget, we grow tired of everything except learning. Bye bye.